One of the CNMI's oldest companies, J.C. Tenorial Enterprises, has formally objected to Saipan Surfrider's QC application and urged for a comprehensive review of the QC program. Jotem Business Development Manager, Bo Palacios. It was time to uh, say something um, about having a program that basically chooses winners and losers in the economy. Um, a program that you know pinpoints, all right, you are tax-free while everyone else has to pay their fair share of taxes. In written comments submitted to CDA, Palacios notes that the CNMI suffers from deteriorating revenues and ailing public services ranging from the hospital to infrastructure. Though he's not opposed to some incentives for new investment, Palacios says a 25-year tax break is far too long. Any company worth its salt realizes a return of investment in from you know five to ten years. He also argues that the QC program as it stands now creates unfair advantages for some businesses and encourages corporate welfare. As to comment, Sablan says Triple J isn't asking for anything outside the law. To the critics who say you are asking for too much, the law allows these benefits up to 25 years. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that CDA and, and their wisdom and analysis of our proposal would grant the entire 25 years, but that is what the law allows. So that if, we, if we don't get the kind of relief that we, we need to make this project viable, then uh, this project will be significantly scaled down. CDA Executive Director Manny Sablan says he and his staff are doing their due diligence in reviewing Surfrider's QC application. Looking at it from a distance, it may, it may appear that they do not need this kind of a relief incentive. But you look at the, you look at that closer, you look at the, the information that is pre presented to the senior, to, to, to us. If the proposal justified, reasonably justified, providing this relief for 25 years, then uh, let's provide. If it doesn't, then obviously we, we, we will recommend otherwise. The CDA director says the multiplier effect from investments like surf riders are significant considerations in CDA's review. His top priority, he adds, is to create a positive business environment, especially in risky and uncertain times. This is really the time to be very proactive and, uh, and be, uh, be enthusiastic in, in our approach to attracting investment. There's a shortfall right now of room and high peak. That alone for me is a justification to give whatever, whoever comes in to provide more rooms, the necessary relief, mm -hmm. incentive. Still, he says there is room for improvement in the QC program, and CDA will be formulating a list of recommendations to present to the legislature. For his part, Palacios offers a few thoughts on what should be included in that review. We want CDA to uh, conduct a review and show the taxpayers metrics of what the the program has done uh, over the last decade, whether it's brought in investors, whether we've kept these investors, um, and how much money have the taxpayers lost due to this program. 